wild, free, and crafty. Thank you so much for joining us for our free art lessons for kids and adults. With me, I have Bear. I have, what's your name? Cookie. And I have Peanut Butter. Pee. I have Peanut Butter with me. What are we going to teach them today? How to draw donuts. How to draw donuts. Then we can add our own topic. You can do whatever topic you want. Pop art is an art movement that emerged in the United Kingdom and the United States mid to late 1950s. Um, and what's really cool about it is it challenged the traditional fine art that you usually would see in a fine art museum by including imagery from mass culture like ads, comic books, and mass produced objects. A lot of the times celebrities would be included in this type of artwork as well, as you can see in this painting from Andy Warhol. This was a famous figure, Marilyn Monroe, and Roy Lichtenstein was known to make comic book type art. So what do you notice? What do you notice, peanut butter, about the colors of pop art? They are really bright, yes. Do they look realistic, like you'd see someone that looked like that in real life? No. No, so it's kind of a different take on things that you would see every day, right? Have you ever seen the soup can painting by Andy Warhol? No. All right, so he, he took something that's mass produced, like soup, created a painting of it. To get started, we are going to divide our paper up into six squares. We are going to measure the middle of the sheet, which is about four and a quarter inches. So you'll need a ruler. We're going to turn it this way. And four and a quarter is right here. That's the middle of your sheet. So now you're going to take your ruler and you're going to draw a straight line down the middle of your sheet. And then we're gonna turn our sheet and we're gonna measure three sections. So 11 divided by three is roughly three and three quarters, a little bit less. So we'll mark three and three quarters um, and then one, two, three and a half and then you'll take your ruler and draw straight lines from those marks. Good job, peanut butter. Now you can decide if you prefer to have your sheet vertical like mine or horizontal. And then you can also decide, do you want your donut to look like you are looking down at it or do you want it to be at a bit of an angle? Peanut butter is going to start by drawing a donut for you guys that is at an angle. And I will explain to you how she's doing it. So she's drawing a wide oval there's some frosting that looks awesome now to make it look like it is curved she drew a curved line here and then half circle curve here so that's how hers is at an angle I'm gonna draw mine as just a circle. Guys. Can I then we're going to draw a small circle in the middle. So this is probably the easiest way to do it. If you want to get extra creative, you could do alternating at an angle and looking at it from above like peanut butter is starting to do. 
So if you want to do it at an angle, it's going to be that wide oval and then like a flattened oval in the middle, okay? So we're gonna draw and fill in the rest of our squares. Try to make up, try to take up a good amount of space. Okay. Now here's the fun part. This is where we get to add on frosting and sprinkles. So we're gonna start with our pencils because we can erase if we make a mistake. And we're gonna start making it look like they have frosting on top. Now frosting doesn't go on usually in a uniform circle, so we have it a little bit curvy. And for the ones that are at an angle, I'm gonna add a little bit of a curve there, like peanut butter did, so it looks like it's at an angle. And then we're gonna draw our frosting about halfway through the bottom portion. Oh, I like that. You have a cherry on top and some dripping frosting. That's great. Looking good. Okay, I'm gonna keep going with my frosting. Doesn't have to look exactly the same between each donut, but remember, the differences that we'll add will be once we start adding in colors. Then we can add in sprinkles and stuff like that. Now on our supply list, we have washable markers or Crayola markers that um, you can order. Most of us have markers at home, so use what you have. Most of our markers are dried up because we use them so often, so we have ours on order. But for now, we're gonna use these alcohol-based ink markers. And we're gonna take a dark color. Peanut butter has brown, Pookie has a brownish color, and I'm gonna use black. And we're gonna trace our straight lines now. You don't have to use brown or black. You can use any other dark color. You can have a thin border or you can have a thick border. Now we're going to take our dark marker and we're going to trace just the lines of our donuts. And you guys can use Sharpies, you can use markers from school, you can use all sorts of different types of markers. Whatever you have on hand at home at this point is best. And your donuts don't all have to have holes. Peanut butter brought up the point that she wanted a Bavarian cream donut. And a Pookie used to have fun. Yes, you're right, Pookie. The most important thing is to have fun. So try not to stress out about your drawing at all. That's why we start with pencils too, right? Yeah. We can erase anything that we make a mistake on. So it's pretty likely that you weren't able to follow the lines exactly when you went back over it. So you'll take your pencil eraser 
and you can erase any of those pencil lines that are not covered up. Unless you did a little bit of shading, you can leave that there. All right, now we're gonna color in our donuts. What did we learn about the colors in pop art though? They are They're bright. They're bright, you're right. Yeah. So you could use brown if you wanna do chocolate frosting, but we're kind of going for the whole, this is a real object, it's a mass produced object and we are creating it in sort of non-realistic colors, right? Mm -hmm. Let's pick some colors for our uh, backgrounds first, okay? Square, but you can alternate colors, um, like if you picked Two colors, you could do blue, pink, pink, blue, blue, pink. Or you can do each square a different color. Now you don't have to do backgrounds first, but it does help sort of plan out your drawing. And don't forget to color in the middle of the donut. for choosing your colors for your donuts are try to pick colors that contrast from your background. So if you chose orange as a background color, try not to color your donut in a color that's too similar. Like this, for example, it's going to blend into the background. Even though you have a black line separating it from the background, it might be hard to tell that that's part of the donut. So try to choose colors that really stand out from your background color that you've chosen. Now you can choose the same color for the dough throughout, or you can have everything a different color. The sky is really the limit. And what we try to emphasize when we do art at home is what? Peanut butter. Have fun. Have fun, right? We like to emphasize having fun, just like we do in our workshops at the studio, right? Um, we try not to get too focused on um, perfectionism. We really emphasize learning about the different ways to do art. We learn about, you know, analogous colors and monochromatic colors and um, complementary colors and keep those in mind when we work on them. But we do also let our creativity run wild because art is about having fun and being creative. And adults, this is a fun activity for you to do as well. So feel free to join in with your child and work on this together. for joining us today we had a lot of fun and I hope you did too here's how mine turned out so if you want to get a little extra crafty you can add in shading with a darker color on your frosting or on your donut 
You can do all sorts of different sprinkles. You could do star shapes, you could do swirls, you can do jimmies or polka dots, all sorts of different options. This is how my kindergartners turned out. She got a little extra creative with it, adding in stars and hearts in the background and multiple colors in the background. And this is my second grader, so she loves adding cherries on top of her cupcakes and donuts and all sorts of things. So she had a little drip of frosting. She added some cherries and heart-shaped confetti. So super fun. You can get really creative with this all sorts of ages. Um, my three-year-old started hers. It might take a little extra time to get it done for her attention span. But she got the donut shape down and the dots we just are gonna work on later today, getting her to color that and put those dots on the donuts. And if you're older, you can take this steps further and, and do that shading and get really detailed. Um, and like I said, this is fun for adults and for teens. So thank you guys again for joining us for our first class. I hope you will subscribe and click that bell so you can get notifications when we post more videos. Additionally, you can check out our supply list for upcoming classes and our lesson plans by clicking on the link in the description of our channel and I will put it in a comment on this video. You might not be able to click the link, but you can copy and paste it into your browser and go to that page if you're looking for lesson plans and the supplies that you'll need for upcoming lessons for the next few weeks.